Olegwe, Olegwa. <laughs> the thief has become the hunter. What's up, people? It's your girl, Adela. Have you guys heard that oil thieves in Imo State in Nigeria now install CCTV cameras to monitor security forces? Crude oil thieves have resorted to a new tactic of installing closed circuit television cameras on trees to evade security operatives. The CCTV cameras, as well as mortar launchers, and defense systems were said to have been mounted by the oil thieves in various locations around the Oguta Naval Base in Imo State as a plan to eliminate any potential danger to their illegal operations. <laughs> I'm telling you, Nigerians, we are a very interesting set of people. We are very innovative, regardless of whatever we are doing, even when we are thieving, you know? Now, it's very sad, I shouldn't be laughing, but the thieves are more sophisticated than the security forces, as in, they installed cameras so that they will know where security forces are approaching, so that they can pack up and leave before they get arrested. Wow! <laughs> now, I thought that our security men would say, you know, despite that, we busted them, we made arrests. No, they just came and decided to announce that thieves have gotten sophisticated. This is our finest. I said, shoo, so you too, get creative, do something. Don't just tell us that they got away because they now have CCTV. I beg. I was like, I thought you guys have drones. I was confused. I was like, don't you guys have more resources, more manpower? I thought you have capable men and women. Speaking of capable, I don't want to forget to remind you that Help Me Waka is what? Capable and reliable. <laughs> <laughs> Contact them to deliver groceries to the doorsteps of your loved ones in Nigeria and Ghana or to get affordable health insurance for your loved ones in Nigeria. Now to the juicy story of the day. <laughs> so the Supreme Court has affirmed President Tinubu Swain in the last election. I'm sure by now you must have heard. Was anybody surprised? Well, first of all, let me know if you are surprised in the comment section because some of us are not surprised. I mean, I have never seen a sitting president that was told to live in Nigeria. Now, the court said that PDP and Labour Party did not provide enough evidence and that some of the evidence were not registered like the ones that they brought from abroad was not registered with the court in Nigeria also they said that some of the evidence were not presented in the window that they were given I don't remember if it was 21 days or 180 days now on one side you have Nigerians celebrating Tinubu's win <laughs> So it's a victory for all of us, a victory for Nigeria. And we celebrate Ashu Ajibola Metinubu's victory today. And we know that on his mandate are we standing. Okay. <laughs> but on the other side, you have people saying the election was rigged, the judiciary was partial, they were biased, and so on and so forth. Now, as for me, guys, I'm just confused because what's the point? of us spending 117 billion naira on so-called electronic transmission of votes, electronic transmission of results, which they told us at that time will prevent rigging. So we, we wouldn't have been in this position in the first place if that thing worked because the court is now saying it's not a law to use the electronic transmission. I said, hmm? You see that thing is really confusing me because before the election, they were calling it anti-hacking software anti-rigging software they told us that as we are voting like this as we are pressing our hand the number will be collating and visible for all to see it will be showing on the screen and we believed it because we are seeing people doing it in kenya they are doing it in kenya they are doing it in america we believed it so was it all a lie Lori Rock. So does that mean we will get our money back? Or that's the end of one and seventeen billion? I, I just want to know, maybe somebody can explain to me the peripheral level of this equation because that is a lot of money. One and seventeen billion, not million, billion. Because if they should refund that money now, a month later, they say, you know, we can use it to fix roads, to build hospitals. It may look like I'm joking, but guys, <laughs> that's the end of one and seventeen billion. naira. Don't you think somebody should be fired? Also, are we now going to continue using this electronic voting system that the court is saying we don't have to use and that was not effective in the last election? Or are we going back to paper coalition? I just think that our voting system needs a complete makeover. We can't even start talking about Nigerians abroad being allowed to vote when we are yet to get the electronic voting right. You get what I'm saying? So if anybody out there can explain to those of us that are confused, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that is asking this question. What is the purpose of 
electronic voting that they hyped so much before the election so let me know what you guys think about this verdict in the comment section anyway so that's the only thing that confused me i don't belong to either side you know the president side or the opposition side me i watch everybody on my plasma tv but that part just confused me meanwhile this is the video of the president speaking after he was declared the legitimate winner the judgment of the supreme court put a stop to shenanigans put a stop to innuendos put a stop to a lie of trial in the media and public place the court has demonstrated in this visible commitment to rule of law and humanity and their commitment to do justice for all nigerians Congratulations to Mr. President. Freedom, freedom. We are watching you on Plasma TV. Hopefully, his tenor will be better than Buhari's tenor because things are really tough now, especially with the subsidy removal. The price of everything has gone up. And Naira keeps falling. We need to even talk about that. It's now like 1,200 Naira to $1 is so sad now guys the only thing that is paining me in this whole equation <laughs> the one thing that is paining me is the number of nigerian prophets that said the outcome will be different than what we are seeing you see this is a public service announcement to my fathers and mothers in the lord please if you did not hear from god stop confusing people the day for swearing him to Nubu will come while at that event military men will come in and they will arrest to Nubu. Mark my word, the court will declare will be as winner of the election. Did anybody ask you? I was just saying, stop confusing people. The Lord said that Pitobi will win at the tribunal. Some of you are doubting. How will it happen? Pitobi will be declared president by the court. You will see it. It will come to pass. No power on earth can stop this plan of God. My friend, get out. Swears. Get out or get out of here. Not you, my father. In case you're watching, man of God. It's not, I was just, you know, talking to Kalido. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the court judgment. So, in the last episode, I talked about a free medical outreach that is taking place in Ibadan. Next month, free surgery is for women diagnosed with fibroid. First of all, the deadline to say that you need surgery is Tuesday, the 31st of October. I forgot to say that in the last video. So, please, contact this number on the screen. Send them a text. Don't call. If you need the surgery or you know someone that needs it you need to enter before the 31st which is next tuesday you need to let them know it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be selected but you have to put in an entry before then also some people reached out that they would like to sponsor more women some viewers thank you so much first of all god bless you i am very very grateful please know that we highly appreciate this because you will be changing the lives of these women literally thank you so much for those wondering the cost of sponsoring one woman is five hundred thousand naira that covers accommodation surgery and medication so please if you're willing to sponsor a woman for fibroid surgery this is the account number in nigeria and in the u.s on the screen kawa foundation and you can also send us an email so that we know that you are sending us money so that we can let you know who we use your money to help so thank you so much in advance lastly i talked about a new nursing school that just opened up in nigeria in kogi state owned by medical practitioners here in the u.s both the husband and wife medical practitioners and i just want to remind you that the entrance exam is next monday the 30th of october so if you're interested in this nursing school go on their website today make sure that you pay for your application form so that you can write the exam on monday so did you guys click the thumbs up button here thank you so much for always watching i appreciate you guys all right y'all this and I'm keeping it right off in here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, I'm watching you on Plasma TV. Press the subscribe button and the bell button. Until next time, I'm going to see you later. Peace out.